All right, here we go. Episode number six. And uh, so it's Monday. And we are going to make the forge. And we're going to make the, what is this, forge cooler. Okay. So I went out and gathered some more copper. And let's switch here. We don't need all this. We'll just grab it. Uh, we might need a little more wood. So we'll grab a little bit of that. And here we go. What am I doing? Wrong button. What am I missing? Coal and stone. Okay, let's just dump this stuff in here because i got to get some... Um, put that in there. I don't know why I'm carrying all this stuff. I also cleared out a spot over here. I had a torch over here. Moved it over here. Put another one here so it's more light. We need a little coal. We're going to make these things. Then I'm going to show you what I've done here base-wise. What do we got? Six of those is probably enough. Grab a little stone. Let's see if I can hit the right button. Is that going to be enough? Let's see. Uh, four and four, ten and six. All right, I'm just going to grab what I need here because I will be encumbered. So we're going to grab six of those. And then... We don't need all that. We'll grab this. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to put this forge here, and hopefully it fits. Let's see. Which way should this be facing? I feel like it. I feel like it should be. Hmm. I'm going to put it as close as I can get it to this. Nope, 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 right here. Oh, now we can make bronze, copper, that flashes so fast. A scone, sconce, what the? Okay, I don't know what it said. What do we need to make this fella? We need fine wood, we do have some of that. Get that off my screen, thank you. We do have some of that, let's put this away. What else did we need? Ten copper. Oh, I needed more wood. I didn't grab enough. Nope. Wrong box. Alright, look. We got plenty of that there. Ten copper. I just had enough, you know. Just enough. Okay, let's see. Where is this supposed to go? Okay. Maybe my theory's right. I could put it here. Yes, we did it. All right, awesome. So Forge is now level 2 because we put that on there. That's interesting. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we can make bronze or a copper knife. I don't see anything as far as upgrading goes. Does this have its own? No, it's just an attachment. This is level 3, which it already was. There's nothing new here. That's its own separate thing. Repair all that. Okay, so we can make bronze, which I'm guessing we're going to need to... make some better weapons here. Interesting. Very interesting. What else? Is there anything else? Alright, I put... Let's see. Here we go. A cauldron. What are you, sir? Oh, we need ten to make the cauldron. Okay. Um, that looks the same. I still haven't made a raft yet. Or a portal. So we can now make a cauldron. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to need ten for that, obviously. I think I have some. Does that go over the... Or is it... I guess it's its own thing, huh? Well, let's see. We do have some tin. Yeah, let's make a cauldron. Where do I want to put you? I guess for now... Is this going to need a campfire under it? That's what I'm wondering. Ooh, we could make some stuff. Queen's jam? I know I can make that. That's 
Need to have a lit fire under the cooking station. Okay, so we need to make that. I need a cup of wood. Give me some wood. Nope, can't do it with that. There we go. Nope, wrong box. There's ten wood right there. We're going to put this away. We're going to put this away. All right, let's put a fire under this baby. Is it going to let me? It is. I think. Wait, I just had it. Uh, oh, that's going to be jank, isn't it? Oh, that's going to be jank. Come on. Maybe they'll count. We'll make it look pretty later. Oh man, that's smoky. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm on fire. I got too close. Ah. No. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna set myself on fire. Okay, cool. Now we can make some stuff. Alright, we have honey. Aha, a use for dandelions. I was wondering what these were for. So we can make minor healing, poison resistance, minor stamina. This just says tasty. And then Queen's Jam. That classic tasty blend of raspberries and blueberries. Ugh. Okay, so that's cool. So we could do all that stuff. Is there anything else that I've missed? No, nothing there. We've got all that stuff built. I mean, I haven't made the portal. I don't know if making the portal actually unlocks anything else. Wait, what's this? Oh, the sconce or whatever. What is this? Oh, it's a it's a freaking wall torch. Torch. I can't talk. Okay. So I need copper and resin for that. Oh, that is cool. I have to make that. Do I have any... Get off my screen. Thank you. We can make a couple of these. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm getting excited. This is great. Oh, that smoke is just like... Urgh, look at that. Is that going to go in my house? I bet it does. Let's see. No, it's actually staying outside. All right. Anyway. I would rather have these torches inside. I wonder how good the lighting is. Hmm... Okay, let's do this. I need some wood and resin. Whoops, wrong button. Wood and resin. And then, uh... That should be good, right? Oh, this is nice. Let's put one here. Oh, it automatically lights. That's fancy. Okay, I like it. Um... What kind of light is this putting out? I mean, it's daytime. It's going to be hard to see. Can't really turn these off. Sconce fuel. Okay, so you put resin in it. It holds six. Oh, that is nice. I really like that because... Which moves us on to the next part of the video. I've done a little expanding since the last episode. I added another beehive. Got a little honey there. We'll take that. There's these little buildings that I have all over this area. And basically all this is is a housing for these workbenches, which you need to, um, you know, build in areas, put up walls and all that. So I did that. I also made this walkway, this little bridge that goes across here, which now we have those hanging torches we can use and put on here. So I probably could put them here. And here. So I made this little bridge. Little walk bridge. I cleared out this entire area. All the way up to where it won't let me because of this. And there's these little shacks. This is everywhere there's a crafting bench that I needed to have there in order to continue building the wall. This one, for some reason, it wouldn't let me put the crafting bench back here. Maybe I'll move it. Maybe I can do it, actually. Let me see. Let's try it one more time. Maybe I can move you back here. Yeah, for whatever reason, it won't let me put one back there. Anyway, so... 
this little shack looks kind of trashy. But I do believe it's holding up well. Yeah, it's not taking any damage. But anyway, so that's that. So it just, it kind of makes it look like a little village. So I made them all look exactly the same. And it's just, you know, just a crafting bench and a torch outside. And then I made myself a little tower here. Hard to see with the sun glare. If I could get the right angle. There, that's not a bad angle, I guess. And it just goes up here. I always get stuck right there because of my great building capabilities. And this is it right now. I, I just threw a roof on here temporarily. I'm planning on this being more open so it's an actual tire that I can shoot out from. But for right now, it's just aesthetics, just for looks. Now, let's see if we can get down here. I would like this to be bigger because, to be honest, it's I hate walking up it. It's got a nice little design to it, I think. Yep, so we have all this walled off. I get rid of all the logs that were around here. <laughs> Look at all that smoke. It's ridiculous. There's smoke everywhere. Before we continue our art further... Let's go back in here for a minute. I moved my campfires. Not leaving that open, you never know. Um, so yeah, kiln, charcoal box, forge, furnace, whatever. And then I built this out. Let's see if I can get here in the center and show it better. So we got th the three fire pits there. I built a little chimney up there so the smoke goes away from the building. And you can kind of see the top floor up there, which I just have a couple chests up there right now. Nothing fancy. All right. Now I made myself a little pond. Um, I did have this. I dug this out just so I have somewhere to throw crap that I don't need. And uh, actually, I'll throw this in there. I've got a bunch of stuff in there that's been there for days. Anyway, so I had a ramp to walk up out of there. But then what started happening was, is those little neck dudes, the little green guys, were spawning inside my base. So I closed this off and put it back like this. And that pretty much put that to an end. And we got more crafting benches, villager houses, whatever you want to call them. And then there's this. There's the pig farm. I made a pig farm. I know they're supposed to be called boars, whatever. Um, there's a very, very... It's so easy to tame these things. Like, it's almost effortless. You just need to build some sort of a uh, pen here. What I did here is I just made this little building. They seem to like to come in here. I don't know why. And this is like a pretend food trough. They can't actually eat out of it, of course. Now, if you guys are out of my way... I could, uh... Well, anyways, we'll go over here. So I just put a big door in the gate. This is the taming pen right here. If I can get over here, that'd be great. Stupid stick, get out of there. So I just open these doors here. Run a pig in here. Shut the doors. And then all you have to do... And I don't have any food. Well, I'll just throw this in there, but... Boop, right over the fence. Now, you don't have to throw down one at a time, at least for the tamed ones. The tamed ones here, we'll go grab some food, I'll show you, because they're all pretty hungry right now. I will grab a stack of food. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw that whole stack of food in there. We don't need to throw just one piece in there at a time, you know, individual stacks of one. You just throw the whole stack in there. So let's grab a stack. Oh, it's way brighter in here. Yeah, this is nice. I'm a fan. All right. Um, whoops. Wrong thing. So I'm going to grab... Let's see. Yeah, let's grab these. So a stack of 12 strawberries. They're probably going to eat them all, honestly. I don't know if they will or not. So feeding them is real easy. 
uh, I didn't test the stack theory with the wild ones when I'm taming them. Okay, so there they go. We had 12 there. There they go. They're going in to eat. They might eat the whole entire thing. But as you can see, if one pig ate the entire stack, if it registered that way, then they wouldn't still be over there eating. And they are, so... They might have eaten the whole stack. I don't know. Let's see if I can get my mouse in here. I can't. Jeez, you guys are such pigs. Like, come on, get out of my way. All right. See if there's anything left. I still see the little... Okay, so there's one raspberry left out of that stack of 12. So everybody's happy. They ate. I'll just leave that there. Yep. Oh, someone just ate it. All right. It's gone. Is anybody still hungry? Um, I am going to go with no. What I want to do... Yeah, they all ate. They're good. It's getting nighttime, but what I want to do... Is I usually have boars out here somewhere. I don't... I don't see any, but it's getting nighttime anyway, so I'm going to go to sleep. And we're going to see if we can drag a boar in there during the daytime. And uh, we'll try out the uh, just dropping a stack of food in there. Instead of throwing it in there one piece at a time. I mean, it works with the tame ones. Why wouldn't it work with the wild ones? So I'll go find a boar and we'll be right back. All right, I found a boar. Oh, and strawberries. Okay. He is over here. Maybe it'll be a good one, like a two-star guy. Hey, how you doing, sir? Would you like to uh, take a nib of me? Yes, come on. Let's go. Uh, where's my house at? Oh, we got to go this way, sir. Feel free to follow me. Thank you. Ah, you're going to end up killing me, aren't you? Okay. Right to the back of my house, because there's usually plenty of boars over here. So, it's going to drive my other boars a little crazy, but we'll just do this. Where'd you go, fat ass? There you are. Hey, hi. I'm going to eat one of these. Get my health up a little bit. Where'd you go, man? Come on. You're ruining all my fun. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get out of here. And then I am going to drop this entire stack of mushrooms. And once he's done freaking out, he will start eating. And we will have another boar tamed. It's really that simple. So I'm going to go into sneak mode here. I'm going to keep an eye on him. And we'll be back when he's just about done. See, he's already calmed down. Oh, oh, he's got hearts. He's got hearts. I should be able to... Nope, he's still kind of freaked out. But look at the... Uh, he's acclimizing. Accl whatever that stupid word is. In other words, he's getting used to the various stresses of being in this cage, being near other pigs, the, the weather, everything. So it's going to take him a little bit. We'll be back when he's just about tamed or tamed. And actually, while we're waiting, I figured, hey, we got a little copper and a little tin left. Let's go ahead and make some bronze and see if that unlocks some uh, recipes. It did. Yay. That means we can... Oh. Oh. I just saw a bronze axe. Wait a minute. Oh. Um, okay, that stuff flashes really fast. Anvil, fermenter. What? So we can make bronze nails, which I know we need for other things. We can now make a bronze plate. <laughs> I'm going to say this wrong. Cure ass. <laughs> Whatever that means. Uh, bronze leggings. Bronze head arrows. A bronze. I don't even know how to say that, but it's a weapon of some sort. Uh, a bronze axe. Oh, I definitely am going to want that. Bronze helmet, copper knife, a bronze mace, 
a headache on a stick. I bet that I'll blunt damage 35. Okay, all right. A bronze buckler. Uh, a shield of burnished. Oh, okay, it's a shield. Got it. Bronze spear. Fancy. And a bronze sword. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Yeah, so we got some good cool stuff to uh, check out. That's nice. I'm excited about that. I'm going to have to go do some farming. We're going to put this stuff away. That does not go in there, sir. Okay. Um, that's my fine wood. Let's put this stuff in here. And just as a quick reminder to get that bronze wood, or the fine wood, you just uh, roll regular trees into these birch trees. And you roll these logs into each other, and they break, and you get fine wood that way before your time. Before you're supposed to get it, I guess. Let's go check on this guy and see how he's doing. Get our sneak mode on. The stack of mushrooms is still in there. I don't want him to see me, but can I get close enough to... No. I can't get close enough. Dang it. Let's see. He's still... He's going to see me. Yeah, he saw me. Whatever. He's at 20%. All right, so it's going to be a while yet. One more percent, and this boar will be mine. Let's wait for it. All right, so Mr. Boar is tamed. Now I need to make sure these guys are full. This guy is not hungry, so I don't know if I can get him into this area right now or not. But there's your proof that they just eat as needed. And as soon as this guy becomes hungry, I will lead him over here. I'm going to actually try and throw this right here, right in front of the door. There we go. And when this guy becomes hungry, I will open the door. He will walk through and grab that mushroom, and I will then close the door. Wow, the door just pushed the mushroom. Cool. Well, not yet. All right, guys. So that's good. We got uh, the ability to make fancy tools. I showed you the absolute simplest way to tame boars. And a quick tour of what I've been doing while not recording, which is a lot. I have a lot of land to level here. Um, there's going to be a barn, if you want to call it a barn. Not like a pig pen, but a barn. And then, uh, you know, mass storage, things like that. Uh, a garden. I need to rework this house and make it absolutely huge and mammoth in size. Like really, really big. And things like that. So it's dark, which is not good for recording. So we're going to end this today. And I'm not sure what we're doing next time. It will be a surprise even to me. But either way, it's going to be fun. Adios. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or even annoying, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next time.